Hi guys, I'm ready to start a rebuild on this uh, Tamiya Highlift uh, for FD15 now and uh, first thing I will do is to uh, do something about these links if you can see them here uh, uh, one of the link has to be on one side and the other one on the other side so uh, I'm gonna turn it around, see if you can see this a little better. Uh, they are both on the same side, so I have to change uh, one of them. So there have to be one on this side and one on the other side. That's one thing I'm gonna do. And um, the shock. <coughs> This is, uh, it's hard to see, um, mounted here, and that's gonna be mounted another place since now it's uh, coming down like this, but it's gonna be more straight down. So uh, I'm gonna have a look at that also. First, I'm gonna do the links on this one. Okay, it's maybe best to flip it around, see how that goes. And I have to take off the tires, get some tools. So no test one other thing. Um, the uh, bit lock on this one is uh, has this pattern on uh, the inside and all the others has the pattern on the outside. So this is actually on the inside and this is the outside so I have to take this off and Swap it with this one, so this will be right. That I can do later. First, the uh, links. So I think I'm just gonna take off all the wheels. Uh, this uh, also have a widening kit. Um, so it's uh, a little wider than the stock uh, high lift. It has a really special uh, nut here. It's a little tight, can show you on the other one. Uh, this one comes out. Or maybe not. But it's, uh, <laughs> you can see here, not uh, like the regular ones. Um, that is because of the widening kit that is uh, in here, as you can see, this one. It's a pin or something. So it makes it about, uh, yes, maybe one centimeter wider on each side, so uh, about two centimeters, I think, maybe a little more in total. Okay, I'm gonna have to take off the third wheel. Very good, very tight. Let's see. I think it should have been loose now. There. Okay. And the pin here. 
Last wheel. And a message on my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna read that later. Okay. Uh, I have to change one of these. But um, I'm gonna have a look at uh, RC4 Wheel Drive's uh, website because uh, they are the uh, the uh, web shop that they are selling this one. Uh, the the lift kit with the four link suspension. Uh, it's uh, all the links and uh, these brackets here. Uh, four of them and uh, a bracket for the steering and uh, yes, this one. Um, maybe this also comes with the kit. I looked it up and price on the four links is, uh, suspension kit is 110 US dollars um, so it's uh, quite expensive really so I'm just gonna have a quick look and go and see which way these are going Yes, uh, then okay, this is right. This one also. Um, I think this one shall be on the other side. The same here, the other side, and the same at. Uh, the rear um, here he has the one down there on the outside let's go on the inside and this one's going on the inside I think that will be the right way okay More tools. Okay, this is a uh, that's weird. Uh, Umbraco and uh, Torx. Okay, then I need uh, tools with the Torx. Let's see if this. Yes, that's the right one. A little uh, toolkit. I think I need something to hold it in. This will do the job. Side. Okay, like that. That's one. I think. I hope this will be correct. Okay. Then there is the rear. Um, here I'm gonna change the ones here. This, this, this one is right. These two. So these are going on the inside.
Okay. It's done. <coughs> so this is right, this and this and this. So they are all right now. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go with this like this now and uh, try to uh, mount the uh, servo for the shifting here. Okay, here I have a servo. I have a beginning servo. 12 kilos uh, metal gears. Okay, I'll have to take a look at my uh, high left high lux and uh, see how the gearing is. The servo, how it's mounted. Some scale stuff first. So I'm gonna flip it and see. Try to show you. See the servo here. This is the shifting servo, and it has a long arm, and there is a going onto the transmission. So that's what I'm trying to do now on the on the high lift. I on the high lift. <laughs> Not high lift. So I'm gonna try to mount the servo first and. Get to the uh, servo arm. Um, I have some in here. It comes with the servo, so uh, I think I'll try to get this the longest here. I'm gonna cut off this one. This one. Shape it a little bit. So I have this arm here now. Three channel uh, Hobby King receiver and a uh, three channel. Uh, uh, Hobby King uh, transmitter with the third channel here so it only can go max both ways but uh, then I at least can use first gear, gear and uh, third gear so I'm gonna try that first channels but uh, I'm gonna have a try anyway I try uh, the uh, ESC on channel 2 and the steering on channel 1 and the transmission change on channel 3 like that and the transmitter on and uh, I'm gonna plug it in see how it goes like that and turn it on here 
transmission uh, channel that's wrong uh, so I'm gonna change this one and that one okay and this one this one I'm gonna see now it does change gear um, Pretty hard, I think. So now I have first gear and third gear. But uh, it's pretty rough. Um, and I have uh, steering, but. Uh, what happened now? Power off. Again. On. Steering. Oh, power off. I think uh, it might need to be charged this battery. Okay, but uh, it does work anyway. So, um, progress. Yes, thanks for watching this um, part one of the rebuild. Bye bye.